Alright, what is going up everybody? It's Chingy the Great, and I have a pretty exciting video topic today, and I hope it works out well. Um, so I'm, um, this camera is crazy crooked. I want to, um, straighten out my camera. <laughs> This is not going to work. This is terrible. This is terrible. I want to finish my novel on camera with you guys and finish writing it. Not finish the whole thing, but finish writing the story because I have a couple pages left on this chapter and then that's it. Then it's just editing. And um, it's, it's Saturday right now. So hopefully I can finish that by Wednesday. I really hope so. And I know most of the writing is probably going to be done off camera just because that will take... A long time but the actual last sentence I want to capture with you guys does that sound cool it doesn't sound cool okay well I guess this is the end then. all right see you guys all right let's get into it all right I've been writing for just a couple minutes um, but I'm building up to kind of a climax like it's a really big scene and I noticed before when I wrote the actual end of this novel before I went back and added those five or six chapters I noticed I didn't really have a climax the part that I wanted to be the climax um, after I wrote it I didn't it didn't really come off as a climax like it wasn't that intense it was definitely kind of um, a turning point and it really illustrated character development for the main character but it wasn't quite as intriguing as a climax or as exciting so this part right here is I would say kind of a climax so um, I definitely like what I'm doing differently to make this more of a climax instead of just a regular scene is just really being very descriptive as well as like about the surroundings but mainly emotionally and like mentally what the character is going through right now because that's gonna add up to the Event that happens that makes it the major event and um, yeah I, I'm, I'm kind of struggling with this because I've never written anything this big before so before a short story a climax would just be kind of like the turning point that gets the characters to realize whatever they need to realize or the big reveal of whatever happened or anything like that so it wouldn't be more of like I don't know when I think of a climax I think of like reading a book and like being into the book but when the climax happens you can feel it because you just can't put the book down and so short stories it doesn't really have that same effect I would say uh, the climax is more of like when the uh, when the audience or the reader gets all the information there is to know so I don't know it's kind of interesting because I want this to be descriptive and I want it to be um, intense and powerful and exciting but I don't want it to be cheesy or cliche at all so I'm trying to stay away from really cliche lines and melodramatic like stuff um, and it's kind of a hard balance for me to find because I'm not very um, familiar with this so uh, the only way I have to discern if it's cheesy or not is reading it and thinking if I read this in a novel would I be disappointed and <laughs> that's really the only way I'm trying to keep myself from being cliche so I'm not sure if it's working or not <laughs> but um, I'm really trying to dive into the emotions of this character right now but this character it's written in third person so it's really hard to be like cuz it's like harder to show the emotion because in first person you could be like I feel this way like the narrator like you're inside the main character's head because it's first person so it's easy to tell like they can just say I feel this way or I think this way or whatever and there's no question about it but when you're writing in third person to say this is what this character feels from a critical standpoint it's kind of like how would the narrator know that that's how that character feels you know like how would you know you're not inside his head how would you know that's how he feels or that's exactly what he's thinking so I'm just gonna try to write it anyway um, and be like it reminds this character of this or 
he has memories of this or flashbacks of this. And I'm, I'm putting it really straightforward talking to you guys. It's not as straightforward. Like, my whole novel isn't he felt sad. He is happy now and he's walking this way and now he's excited. It's not like that. But just to show you guys, to tell you guys, I'm simplifying it because I don't want to give too much of the story away. But, um, yeah. So I'm just trying to say, like, this is what reminds him of this or he thinks of this and make it seem like although the narrator is not inside that character's head it's like there's this thing in writing where the narrator can like i don't know like never mind though i don't know where i was going with that um anyways the whole point of this rant was i hope it's not cheesy and i hope it's ex as exciting as a climax should be Okay, I'm back. Okay, so I just wrote a little bit more. So just this session, I wrote about a page, maybe even a little bit more, and it just felt like nothing. And I, I'm just thinking back to the times where it's like so hard to get myself to write to, well, not to get myself to write, but to come up with something to write. And it's just like, I'll be staring at a page for hours and get like a paragraph. So I really think, it, this sounds so stupid and like, duh, but like writing down what I want to do in the chapter and like really like, uh, like parts of a scene, even if it's just like bullet points or a sentence, like I want this action to happen, this to happen, this to happen. It helps so much. Like, and that sounds obvious, I guess, but before I wouldn't write it down, I would just think. I would think about it and I would come up with the idea during one session and be like that's what I'm gonna write for my next session and then I'll sit down and like have to like remember that and not remember it as well and it's like more vague and it takes longer to write but this just felt like nothing and um yeah I really suggest if you're writing to uh keep bullet points about what you want to do and yeah so I'm gonna stop for this session just because my mom's about to come home and I gotta help her with some stuff but um, it's going way quicker than I thought. I'll definitely be done with this by Wednesday as long as I actually sit down and write. And it's feeling good. I have like four more things to do in this chapter. Like four more things have to happen. And it feels good. Like I like where it's headed and I like, I like the direction I've gone with this. Like at sure, at, at sure, at first I wasn't sure like to have alternating chapters from different characters' perspectives. It's like, I'm not from different characters' perspectives, but about different characters. I wasn't sure, because I've read novels like that, and it's like, it's okay, but it's not like, I don't know if it enhanced the novel at all. And this one, I feel like it has, because the main character for me is a 10 year old girl, and like, Kids just don't know, there's things that k kids don't understand yet, and kids don't know, and kids, like, there's things that she wouldn't know from her perspective, so the reader would be missing out part of the story. And so I'm really glad that I alternated it, and, like, you just get more understanding of what's going on, and just a different point of view, and just a well-rounded um, idea of what's going on, I guess. And I like that I did that, because at first I wasn't sure, but now coming to the last chapter and like it's it's going well and I, I I don't know and you just get a different view of all these characters so like you see the characters from one person's perspective and you get their idea of those characters but then you write it about a different character and you get their perspective on all the characters so it's cool because it's like almost completely different but then it, but it, it fits well together it doesn't clash and so it's like I don't know you get to see you just get to see different sides of all the people. And I think that's really important because it makes it believable. Because people are complicated. People have different sides. They're not flat. Like, no one's just a really great person and never does anything wrong. And no one's just a mean bully for no reason. And there's just different sides to everybody. And I think this helped me show that. Um, yeah, but I'm also interested in the next novel I write to see, like, to take this experience and to put it into that and take what I've learned here and write it in a completely different way. So yeah, I'm really excited and I'll get back to you guys the next session. I think just to keep this video, you know, from getting too long will be when I finish writing. So
All right, guys. Um, it is actually Wednesday morning, and I'm about to finish the first draft of my very first novel. And this feels incredible. This is like, I can't even explain. I'm just thinking like every single word that I've typed so far and just like, I didn't think, I don't know, like I, I've tried to write a novel before and like I've said a thousand times, it just fell through really quickly and to think that I committed to this and was dedicated enough to finish this out even up to this point like I know I still have to edit and stuff like that but I don't know it just took a long time to get here and there's so much more that was involved in this other than just typing it was dedicating my time to this dedicating you know my life to this really just like taking this as seriously as I can and you know really living like I am a writer this is what I want to do and this is what I'm going to do no matter what anyone else says and just like even though I'm still in reality I still have to get a job and do other things that I don't want to do just to you know make money and do all the normal things that everyone in the world has to do just keeping in my mind like that's don't let that overcome all the all the work I've put into this. Don't let that interfere with what I want to do. Don't let that overshadow my dream. You know, don't let my dream get lost. And there's times where I definitely didn't write for very, like, for long periods of time I wouldn't write and I would hate, you know, I would have to force myself to write and even when I did write it was just like crap and I would only write a little bit and I was just upset all the time about I was just, I wasn't upset, I was just like stressed out about writing and I really just lost my passion and I don't know why that happened. I think I was just overwhelmed with how much work it takes to write a novel, but um, I don't know what happened in the last couple of weeks, but I really just like grew so passionate about writing and I just love every second of writing and getting myself to sit down and type is not hard whatsoever anymore like I wake up and I look forward to that and it's the first thing I do in the morning now and just like the experience that I've had writing this has been insane like from the first time I sat down and started typing the outline and then for the first word on the page that I wrote writing chapter one at the top and fixing my header all the way up until this point has just been a crazy experience it's been like I've learned so much about I don't know just like pursuing what I want to pursue and it's crazy because you think big experiences in your life probably happen with other people like I guess that's what I think when I think about big experiences or I don't know just networking with people or spending time with other people and creating memories but this has been 100% by myself and I think that's cool. I don't think that's bad at all. I think it's really interesting that, I don't know, like I could learn this much just from sitting down and typing some words that came up into my head. And I've just been having a ball with it and I'm really proud that I got to this point, but enough rambling. I'm about to write the last sentence. So if you've been keeping up, this is not the last chapter, like I wrote two other chapters after this and then I went back and put this one in. So this isn't the last sentence of the novel like chronologically, but um, it's the last sentence I'm typing because the other, like the rest is already typed out. So I thought I would sit down and type this out with you guys because I was just writing it and I was like I just wanted to pull out the camera and do this with you guys because you guys have been there through this whole experience with me so I mean I just said I did it alone but I got some encouragement from you guys, so that's cool. And I don't think I would have finished this if I didn't put it on YouTube for you guys. And I wanted to put the last sentence on YouTube for you guys because this is what we created. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and start typing now. Here we go.
guys. So, um, that was the last sentence. Yeah, I just, I wrote up until the very last sentence. And I just didn't want to sit there and be typing uh, everything out in front of you guys. I wrote a freaking novel. Oh my god. Thank you guys so much for watching and always watching these videos. To those of you who do, to those of you who have left comments and encouraged me to write when I wasn't writing and I don't know, let me feel free to pursue this dream I have. <sighs> Thank you guys. So I will keep up the update videos. Um, now instead of just writing chapters, it's going to be editing and it's going to be a little bit different I guess, but I mean, I'm sure I'll still have stuff to update you guys on. I'll try to make them... If I figure out that I'm running out of stuff to update you guys on, I'll try to, like, think of something interesting to do in the videos. What does this mean for Ride With Me Wednesday? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll come up with something to do, because I'll still be writing. Yeah. I'm going to keep up the series. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right. I'm gonna call it here. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. And there's gonna be many more to come. And this is awesome. I feel great. Like, I feel really great. It took a lot of work to get here. And I'm so excited for where this is gonna go. And I still have so much work to put into this novel, but I'm so excited. And I don't know. Maybe this means now that I'm free to start working on other novels. So once again, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, as always, stay motivated, stay inspired because it will pay off and stay happy. See you guys.